So here I have a black piece of construction paper. We're going to do a little demonstration here to kind of give you a, a show on photoelectric effect. So this black construction paper has six holes in it, and they're covered by four different kind of pieces of cellophane, a violet, a blue, a green, a yellow, an orange, and a red. You can kind of see them here as I shine the light across them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out a black construction piece of paper here from the middle that reveals the glow-in-the-dark strip. Okay. First, we're going to let that sit on there so the glow-in-the-dark strip is completely not activated. We're going to take this out, and we're going to set this down on top of white light. And what this is going to do is it's going to have just the purple light come through this filter. Just the blue light, just the green, just the um, yellow, orange, and red. Okay. When we turn this off, what we'll find then is that the violet and the blue light are capable of activating the glow-in-the-dark strip, whereas the other four are not. So that's showing us that blue light and violet light are of a higher energy and able to activate this particular process in ways that the other four lights cannot. If I don't shine them through, and I just put this down on white light, then the blue light and the violet light from that white light are going through, and they're causing that to activate the entire glow-in-the-dark strip. It's only when I take this and do that. Now, we can look a little bit beyond that, too, into other types of light, because we also have an ultraviolet light. So we can look at how this black light will cause this to work as well, and what we'll find is the ultraviolet light has even more energy than violet and is able to activate the glow-in-the-dark strip really, really nicely. So here we can see the same apparatus as we had before. This time we're going to let the UV light work in conjunction with something else. Uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to take a container here that I have sprayed sunscreen all over. And so the container here is completely coated in sunscreen, and now you can see that when I shine the UV light on it, and then turn that off, that where the container is, there's a gap because the UV light is being absorbed by that sunscreen, causing it to leave behind a pattern. If I put it over here and do it, again, you're going to see that there is a particular point where both times this was covered, and then the second time this was covered by the container. And we can keep doing that. Just like that. Or we could even turn on the whole thing and illuminate the entire strip.